Hey, thank you for your interest and attention in learning about our GUI interface. This is an introductory video to our real-time spectrum analyzer uh, graphical user interface to control our real-time spectrum analyzer. This is the boot up screen for our spectrum analyzer. I don't want to go into too much detail about what we're seeing except that this is a full 8 gigahertz span uh, and we have 18 and 27 gigahertz models. I want to quickly go over the menu items that are here. They're available. They are in alphabetical order to show you how they work. And we'll have other videos that take you deeper dive into these menu settings. So to start going through the menu settings, we have amplitude, where you can see you can change your reference level, level scale per division, uh, and attenuation. In this case, uh, we have a zero or 20 dB attenuator. Uh, in the 8 gigahertz and in the 18 and 27 gigahertz we have a 1 dB step attenuator from, eight, from 0 to 25 dB. Bandwidth allows us to change the resolution bandwidth in the video bandwidth. It can be in auto mode and uh, again I will show you more about that. Display uh, does allow you to put a visual reference on the screen and you can drag it wherever you, wherever you would like. Frequency span allows you to change the center frequency and the span, as well as your start stop frequency. And if you want to change your center frequency multiple times and you have uh, fixed steps, you can just uh, use that to hit your up and down error carries on your center frequency and it would step by that amount every time. Markers allows you to set up to 12 markers. And again, in our marker video, we'll get into more details on how to use these 12 markers. Measure setup is where I go for any particular measurement that I want to make. Uh, what parameters do I have to set? And in this case, for spectrum analyzer mode, we only have one parameter to set at this, uh, at this time. And that's uh, for what is, when I click on trace averaging, what is my average count? or hold number for trace averaging. In this case, it's 100, and that's the default setting. If I happen to be in channel power mode, I would also, this is where I would find uh, to set my integration bandwidth uh, for measuring channel power over. Mode measure allows me to select what mode I want the analyzer to be in, whether I'm in a spectrum analyzer mode or a real-time spectrum analyzer mode, and what measurement I want to make, in this case, swept mode uh, or channel power mode. Peak search will automatically take the active uh, marker and move it to the pink, which you peak, which you just saw on the screen. And you have the ability again to manage those 12 markers using peak search functions to move the the uh, markers around from peak to peak and uh, move them to center or reference level. Again, we'll get into that in deeper dive on the marker video. So watch for that. Sweep allows you to set the sweep in our in sweep mode, we have sweep normal, sweep accuracy, which will give us uh, the best amplitude accuracy. Sweep normal gives us the optimal speed. And then we'll get into advanced modes at a later point in time on the sweep video. Trace allows us to set up to six traces. Again, we'll get into all the commands that are available there and also the ability to uh, change the colors to whatever we want. Trigger. Uh, in real-time mode, we have a real-time spectrum analyzer uh, trigger available to us. And the start frequency, stop frequency of that trigger and its level can be set for the desired uh, signal that you want to capture. And then the system, uh, in real-time mode, the decimation rate allows you to zoom in on a particular spectrum. And then preset will bring us back to where we were uh, when the instrument was first booted up to the default state. Also you see in the screen you can see the annotations for your start, center, and stop frequencies, your span, resolution bandwidth, and video bandwidth. If I click on any of those I can quickly change them as well without going to a particular menu item. Same thing, reference level per division, scale per division. And up here I can open a device to connect to it. I'll see everything that's on my subnet that's connected, all the IP addresses. Uh, and if I know the IP addresses around the world of any devices, I can connect to them by just manually putting in the IP address and connecting to a device. Uh, up here we can see the IP address of the unit I'm connected to right now. 
uh, I can uh, play back a recording that I've saved and I can load settings and save settings which we'll see in a later video also viewing here I check out what particular views I have and we'll see that more when we get into real-time mode okay so thank you very much for your time and attention that's a quick snapshot of our uh, real-time spectrum analyzer GUI and stay tuned for more videos thanks again